All right, Laravel core team member James Brooks reached out to me to run Shift against his uh, Cache project. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to just do a quick live stream. Let's um, get in here. I'm not gonna be able to shift this directly. Uh, so I think let's make a fork, shall we? That's not how you fork, that's how you fork. All right, Cache looks good. And let's bring over, let's go on out to Laravel shift actually. We're going to run a shift, or well, let's sign in. All right, while it's doing that, I'm gonna need to clone this locally to make a proper, you know what? I think I didn't check the box to get all of the stuff. That's okay. Uh, let's get clone this and we'll pull it down ourselves. And while we're over here, we're gonna run a new shift. Laravel 11, and we'll get all that detail here in a second. Or, well, actually, I already have this copied. Let's just borrow that, shall we? And it'll be the main branch? No, I think he said it was 3.x. Let's do that. We'll get that prepped up to run. It's got a lot of things going on here. All right, let's CD into cache and get remote add upstream. I'm gonna to need to add his to make sure that I have all of the stuff. And then let's get fetch upstream, get checkout 3.x, and get push origin this. Okay, so 3.x is now on mine. I should be able to run this shift against my fork to avoid any kind of Dependency issues or ownership issues. Um, oh, it's not part of my plan. Let's just add it. There we go. Running. All right, so while that's queuing up in the background, it's pretty likely I'm going to need to make some cone changes. So I'm going to get PHP Storm set up here. And we'll go ahead and copy in this project directory. I've got a little quick alias here for git current working directory. Uh, GWD, so that'll just copy um, kind of the, the path uh, into the paste buffer. So I can quickly go in here and use that in my project. All right, cool. And I'm, I'm actually not that familiar with this project. Um, it's open source, so it's nice. So we should be able to kind of work with it directly, but just kind of getting a feel Oh yeah, he told me there was this core where kind of a lot of the tests and everything are. So everything else is pretty basic inside of here. Um, it's really kind of a stock project. So I think Shift's gonna be able to handle this pretty quickly. So let's go back. Yep, there it is. Pull request number one on mine. 52 files changed, 14 commits. So let's take a look at what Shift did here. All right. Um, Basically, Laravel 11 shift um, does the slimming. Uh, so it's just kind of giving you an update here. Um, it does so a little bit different than previous shifts. So it's kind of a, a two part thing. One, it's letting you know shift actually does the slimming. The upgrade guide doesn't necessarily recommend this because there's a lot of nuance to it. But of course, this is why shift exists. So um, it's doing it for you. And again, it takes a bit of an iterative approach where it's kind of like removing some stuff and then adding things back. Uh, so just kind of letting you know that that's what's happening. Uh, dropped in the new bootstrap file, no problem. Uh, the configs are now merged. So again, shift streamlines these by removing the ones that are default and keeping things that are customizable. Um, anything else it does through an env variable. So that's kind of what this comment's getting at. It's telling us some renamed environment variables. It automated it, but make sure that it's good. Okay, bootstrap, we got a little X here. Bootstrap app was overwritten, but it says there's customizations. That's strange. Let's see what, what did it do here? Oh, okay. I think it looks like, it looks like James just has some headers is my guess. I don't see anything off the top of my head that seems to be custom in here. It's probably just this header that he's added to his files. So that's probably what shift detected. I think that's okay. I'm gonna put a little checkbox there. Uh, Sanctum, I think might have 
some quick issues, so we'll take a peek at that here in a minute. The rest of the stuff's pretty informative. Uh, just change the controller to abstract, no big deal. Removed creates application. Uh, we might need to dump in the Sanctum migrations. We'll be able to do that. Timestamps uh, are kind of one of those nuanced things in Laravel 11. Same thing, uh, some default stuff changed. So I think the rest of this is, yeah, is good to go. So let's, everything's reviewed. Let's kind of go through now as a second pass to see these things. So let me check out this branch. We'll do a git fetch origin. Let me um, do a git checkout on that. Clear, let's go ahead and try composer update. Again, we might have some issues with Sanctum, so we're doing all that, that's good. Let's just pass through these one last time here. Um, James can kind of take care of this part. I'm not necessarily gonna run the app locally, and again, it, it doesn't have a test suite here. That's part of core, he said. So there's nothing for me to really run other than composer update and kind of maybe just make sure Artisan's uh, behaving nicely. Um, we said that was fine. We do need to look at Sanctum. And then the other thing was, was this. We're probably gonna wanna publish these. Okay, Illuminate Q in core. Oh yeah, he had mentioned that core may need to use L11. So let's try that again. He's got a branch ready with that core stuff, he said. So let's see if this gets Composer running. Excellent, yes it does. So even though this was a pretty small um, application, you know, you notice that just kind of leaving this Composer file open, Shift does go in here and bump, you know, even the core dependencies, Sanctum, uh, you know, Collision, Mockery, these pest plugins, all this stuff got bumped. So while this was a, a kind of a, a custom private package that's not necessarily um, being tracked by Shift, uh, we can kind of, that's the part we kind of have to change ourselves. Uh, so it looks like, oh, it looks like he's using filament. Okay, cool, so everything got published. And I wonder if, let's see how Sanctum is being used. Let's check these migrations. It seems like the personal as access tokens, I think that's what Sanctum adds. I don't remember off the top of my head. I've only used Sanctum on a couple projects. Let's see here. Do we do anything funky in here? Nope. Should be all good. Let's try this, PHP Artisan. Artisan's running, great. Let's try route list. Route list is running, great. Okay, so in the absence of tests, this is kind of my quick benchmark. Let's go ahead and run this though, based on what Shift said to do. And let me see, it says done. So there's nothing to actually republish there. Let's just find out. Yeah, there you go. It's the personal access tokens table that gets published. So there's no reason to publish that migration. We're good to go there. I'm gonna go ahead and checkbox this. Awesome. I don't think there's much else to do here. <laughs> That's it. Let's do a git add dot, git commit dash m, composer update, git push origin head. I'm gonna go retarget this if I can to, oh, I can't change the actual Nope, can't do that. Thought I could trick it there for a second. Can't do that. Oh well, so there you go. There's upgrading to Laravel 11 with shift in less than 10 minutes.